Startup Stories in association with Olook.in. Google surprised the world when it announced the appointment of the new CEO on 10th August 2050. It became a proud moment for the Indian community to see an Indian born become the CEO of a company that millions across the globe aspire to join. Today, we are talking about the man who had his share of struggles before making it to the top as the current CEO of Google, Sundar Pichai, and this is his success story. Pichai Sundara Rajan, more commonly known to us as Sundar Pichai, was born in Madurai on July 12, 1972. He belonged to a lower middle class family and had never experienced the luxury of watching television or traveling by car in his childhood. However, Pichai saw technology in his hands at the age of 12 when his father first bought a landline phone. He had a remarkable skill of memorizing and remembering numbers as he could keep in mind all the numbers that he dialed. Likewise, Sundar excelled in school and that paved his way into the metallurgical division of IIT Kharagpur in India. Upon graduating, he migrated to the US in 1993 and he initially planned to pursue a PhD from Stanford and embark on an academic career. However, he dropped the plan and joined Applied Materials, a Silicon Valley semiconductor maker as an engineer and a product manager. But he did not work there for long. He later went on to complete his MBA from the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania, where he was named a Siebel Scholar and a Palmer Scholar. Following the completion of his MBA, he was appointed as a management consultant at McKinsey & Company. While Sundar was battling with his lonely days as a migrant on the sure road to success, he needed the support of his then-girlfriend and now-wife Anjali, who many says plays a pivotal role in all his endeavors. Later. He joined Google in 2004 and his entry was marked with the launch of a free mail service called Gmail. It is said that Sundar thought it to be a Google's prank as the day of launch April 1, 2004 coincided with Fool's Day. After getting inducted into Google, Sundar's first big success came after Google hit an infamous doomsday situation. Microsoft changed the default search engine on Internet Explorer with their own search engine called Bing. In those days, during the year 2006, almost everyone used Internet Explorer. And now, Sundar was responsible for coming up with a response. His solution? A Google toolbar that enabled PC makers install it directly onto their PC and browser. Later, he soon started working on other Google products such as Google Gears and Google Pack. The success of Google's toolbar gave Pichai the idea that Google should develop its own browser. He discussed this idea with the seniors and faced a serious objection from the then CEO Eric Schmidt, who thought that developing a browser would be a too expensive affair. However, Pichai persevered and convinced the co-founders of Google, Larry Page and Sergey Brin to launch Google's own browser. And later, Sundar played a pivotal role in the ultimate launch of the browser Google Chrome in 2008. Chrome proved to be a great success as it allowed the users to directly access Google's search engine. With this, Sundar became an internationally known figure. Following the phenomenal success of the Chrome which eventually became the number one browser in the world, surpassing competitors such as Internet Explorer and Firefox, Chrome also paved the way for a series of other important products such as Chrome OS, Chromebooks and Chromecast. Later in 2008, Sundar Pichai was promoted as the Vice President of Product Development. In this position, he started appearing more often at Google presentations and continued rising up the ranks in Google. By 2012, he became the Senior Vice President of Chrome and Apps. Within a year's time since becoming the Senior VP, Sundar was also handed over the task of Android, which still earlier was being managed by Andy Rubin, the genius that he is. Sundar developed it into Android One, which was a project designed to offer affordable smartphones in all households worldwide, inviting another 5 billion people to the Android world. And within a short period of time, Sundar was again promoted to become the head of products in 2014, which elevated him to become Larry Page's second-in-command. Apart from that, 
Sundar had established himself as the public face of Google and was widely known to be as the master of ceremonies for Google's annual developer conference. By now, Sundar had attracted a lot of attention of other technology powerhouses. As a matter of fact, he was approached by Twitter to come on board as the vice president of products and later, he was also being considered to become the new CEO of Twitter. Other than that, he was also strongly being considered to succeed Steve Ballmer as the CEO at Microsoft. However, he remained a loyal Googler despite being approached by top tech companies. This was also the time when Google's holding company Alphabet INC was being prepared. Hence, to retain him and keep him on staff, Sundar was announced as the new CEO of Google, which is the biggest company under Alphabet. Well, as agreed by most of the top tech industry veterans, Sundar is one of the most all-round and flexible professionals with his keen eye for the products along with his business acumen. He is often considered to be a better CEO than Larry Page. Sundar Pichai's life story has been illustrious and is a marvelous paradigm for those who wish to achieve success even in difficult situations. With continuous hard work, perseverance and smart work, he was able to reach out to the top position in the company where every business leader wishes to be. Today, he is valued at over $150 million and is heading the second most valuable brand in the world which is worth over $85 billion. While Sundar Pichai is relentlessly working hard to bring out many more innovative solutions to the public, we at Startup Stories wish him super success in taking the Google growth story to even greater heights. Thank you so much everyone for suggesting us to bring Sundar Pichai's success story. We hope you liked it. Do let us know whose story do you want to see next in the comment section below and we'll soon have it uploaded on this channel. And for more suggestions and feedback, please write to us at info at startupstoriestv.com. Till then, stay motivated.